Welcome back to the Old Spice Report. We are being joined now by the winningest player in all of Halo. Welcome, Ogre 2. Congratulations. Thanks for, thanks for having me, and thank you. Tom, you just won four national championships. Talk to me a little bit about what this means. You're the winningest player in Halo 3 and the winningest player in Halo. You are the man here. You're the best. Tell me, man, how do you feel right now? Uh, I'm feeling really good. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sick, so I could be feeling a little better, but... <laughs> I've been sick all weekend, didn't matter. This, we came to play this weekend, my whole team did. Shout out to my teammates. Um, I'd just like to say it's the best team I've had, maybe ever, at least in the past three years. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's a tie for my best teammates. Uh, okay, now, uh, it, it, you've had some incredible wins, but to me, what sticks out is the fact, I mentioned it a little bit before, you won three in a row now, and you didn't just win three in a row at the beginning of Halo 3, you won it at the peak of Halo 3 when everybody was playing at their best. How hard was that to do? Well, I've been saying it every interview, it's, it's teamwork. This game is all about teamwork and getting along with your teammates, and that's exactly what we did. We're a good group of guys, and we get along really well. We're all, we're all friends outside of the game, and uh, it helps us inside the game just working together and uh, obviously uh, we're all talented but I think it just comes down to teamwork. Now moving forward obviously you guys all love each other that's what it seems like but moving forward there's reach coming in a couple of months uh, are there any questions to who you're going to be teaming with or is final boss definitely sticking together? Uh, as of right now I think we're sticking together as long as everybody wants to play uh, and as long as FIS doesn't suck at reach but <laughs> other than that. <laughs> are there questions to fear itself's gameplay in reach? He hasn't played it as much, he says. That's, I don't know. Well, he's got lots of time to practice, so, so that's good. I want to know what you're going to miss about Halo 3, and moving forward to Reach, what you're looking forward to about Reach. Um, I'm just looking forward to it being different. You know, playing the same game for three years that much, you know, competitively is kind of monotonous and gets really boring, but uh, I, I don't know. I don't have as high hopes for Reach as everyone else did, I think. Uh, I've been saying I think it's going to be Halo 3 all over again, just new maps, new weapons, and new game types. So I, I, think, it'll be, I think it'll be great, but uh, I don't think it'll be that much better. Now, uh, uh, man, one more time, I just want to give you a big congratulations. For me, personally, I've been here in 2004. I've been here in 2007. I've been here in 2010. And I see you walk out on top in every single game. That's absolutely incredible to me, man. You're an aspiration for me and many others. But looking forward now to all these pro players, to all these kids trying to make pro, what's something that they could do to get to the next level, to become the next Ogre 2? You were here in 2004? <laughs> I was here in 2000, I was watching, man. That's what I was doing. No, uh, it's just hard work. You gotta be, obviously you have to know that you got the talent and you gotta be confident. I've always said confidence is really huge if you wanna, if you wanna be big in uh, competitive gaming. E even if you, uh, I don't know, you, just, you really just gotta be super confident in your own ability and then in your teammates' abilities or you will not get along with them and it will not work out. But uh, just work hard, find a good group of guys to play with and uh, just be confident and. That's it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the Old Spice Report. And congratulations on making history and doing the three-peat. Thank you. <laughs> That's going to do it for us here from Dallas on the Old Spice Report. But be sure to catch the Old Spice Report from New York, where we present to you the season MVP with Chris Puckett and with Shibby. And that will air on November 18th. You don't want to miss that. And if you missed any of the broadcasts, you can catch all of the rebroadcasts streaming on MLGPro.com. That is going to be it for us from here in Dallas, the end of an era. All of us here at MLG Pro look forward to seeing all of you in 2011 for the dawning of a new era. You better be there. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.